Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, we're back here in the system of Ikoro on our small Triglavian hunting expedition in the Golem. And previously we cleared some initial fleets. There wasn't really much more action going on in the system and I had to also go to a meeting. But now that I'm checking later, I can see that we've got a lot more Triglavian spawning in. So my guess is that we've got some big fat fleets that have spawned in now because this looks like an unusual amount of Triglavians if these are just initial fleets. So we'll see. We'll see if we can encounter some cool ones. Uh, we'll have to just get a look at these planets so then we can warp to some of them. You know guys, I actually got a comment on one of my videos mentioning that the cruise missiles could be an idea for the golem in these Triglavian hunting, like very big ones. And I think actually it's a valid point uh, now that the commenter explained quite detailed. Zerzis Fenra explained that like, when you use cruise missiles on a golem, it enables you to keep distance really far. And cruise missiles, which is actually also true, is that they fly very fast. So even though it will be a bit annoying to have that delay of the cruise missiles when you fly at far, they are also pretty fast missiles, so they will go pretty fast. And uh, you will then be able to then use a target paint instead of the grappler and be able to utilize the golem's bonuses uh, more than if I'm using this grappler, which this grappler is not using the golem's bonuses at all. But the thing though is this grappler, even though it's not utilizing the golem's bonuses, it is still a really potent weapon. This is a lot more potent than target paint for application at close range. But keyword is close range. If stuff is far away, then that's not that's going to be a different story. But uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, the main reason I like to use a torpedo is just because of the amount of DPS we're able to get. But it could be an idea that if we keep a range, maybe say even really far, because cruise missiles, they are really great in that they can hit really far. We can maybe stay, I don't know, 150 kilometers away. Then perhaps we can chill on the tank a little bit. And then we can still be able to kill them uh, with uh, like not maybe 3k DPS, but maybe 2k DPS. So it's just a thought. It could be an option. It could be an idea. And why am I doing so little damage here? Kaldari Navy Nova Torpedo, okay, we've got the Bastion active. Um, what's going on here? Oh, I see why. I see the problem here. It's these ghosts here. Like, why am I not able, able to attack anyone? It's because we've got ghosts all over the place. And then we need to get the warriors on it. Because I had the best application loadout right there. I had the Kaldari Navy, and I was able to use the uh, the target painter and the grapple at the same time. I don't want to actually deploy my mobile depot, I want to deploy the MTU, that's a bit better. There we go. Let's grab that MTU in a uh, bookmark. Just remove the previous ones that we're not using anymore. There we go, this one here. Great, do we have a Drekovac which we can drink pasta from there. Not really any good Drekovacs here, because I preferably would not want to drink pasta from a starving Drekovac, because he is going to be then taking my pasta. And I also do not want to keep those ghosting ghosting Drekovac alive either, because that guy is going to cause problems in terms of our application. Okay, well, you saw that Rodiva, I was not able to break him actually. That's how bad the ghosting was on us. And we were doing 800 volleys, so there was nothing like little. But they had enough remote reps. So imagine if you had bigger fleets, you could have very big problems actually in terms of application. Let's wreck that ghosting Dracovac. There we go. Almost. And then we'll go for this next the ghosting Dama. We're able to fully utilize our grapple against these ghosts, so it's, these are frigates, so it's good to go for them actually first, I think. Okay, so now it's going a little quicker. Need to reload a little bit. Okay. This one. This is the last one, I think. We don't need to use so much reps as well. So we'll see how big of a difference there is now that we've destroyed all the ghosts. I think that's just the last one there, yeah. There's not any more apart from that one. Great. Now for this one. And we should be shield boosting a little bit as well. Look, now we get 1600 volley before we're getting 800, so it's like double the amount of DPS we're doing now. Even more. Tons of remote reps we've got going on. And they got pretty good resists as well. 
these liminals are really hard nuts to crack because they've got increased resistance, I believe. So they're both tanky in terms of their buffer, but also the better uh, inherent remote or patterns because everything is going to be a lot effect more effective on them just because of their high resists. Have I got my high grade crystals? So yeah, yeah, we've got the high grade crystal implants and those are good to have because increase my shield boosting and also got some missile modules or missile implants there that can buff my golem's weapons. Great. And now for this Rodiva here. Let's get a few pulses over there. But I think I would like to try cruise missiles, just see how it feels. I don't think it's going to be as, he says it's as quick as Torpedo, I don't think that is going to be the case, but we can see, you can try. Never open mind to see how it goes. I definitely don't think it's going to be as fast in terms of the cleanup, because when you have to kite, then stuff is going to be spread out all over the place. You're going to be much quicker when you're close like this with the MTU, you can see it's already bringing in everything. And we can just, you know, salvage mean while while we are fighting these guys as well. So that's a great thing too. Destroyed. Okay. Hmm. This could be an initial fleet actually that does not have any respawns. Don't have any more. Okay, that's five degrees. That's the reason. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of Rasnabogs there could be a big wave because the respawning big waves also r tend to be more dom predominated more dominated by the Rasnaborg variants rather than the non Rasnaborg ones like we saw here I'll recall them but salvage is out increase the size of this drone menu it looks a bit small spread them out a little bit so that they're all in a separate wreck Usually goes quite smoothly then. 12 million in the loot this time. That's a lot better because previously we got loot, including salvage, 12 million. And usually the salvage is a bit more as well. We've already got about 20 million now. Let's see what these the rest of these salvage drones gives us. Oh, we don't even have enough space for the MTU here. Let's stack up all these and dump the trinary state processes. These things cause you to lose a lot of space for their value. There we go. Get this in. Very clear, very uh, close on the M3 here. Okay, now we can remove that location. Great. Good. Now we can check a little bit these Rasnaborgs. Uh, what we can do before we engage those is that we dump off the loot in the station. Okay. That's a good thing to do. So that we have a little bit extra cargo space. Uh, let's see the value of our total loot here. 33 million. Okay, that's alright. We've got 21 million from that. We had like 12 million before. Not so much, but it was neither a big wave either. Just one wave and that's it. In these big respawning triglavian waves you can encounter many many like five six maybe even more of them it's just unfortunate that we don't see so many people here i would like to see people here because it just for me i think it's quite fun to do evil online stuff and I see other people nearby and not in a way that they're out there to kill you just seeing them you know doing their own stuff uh attacking away at the triglavians that you see around you and maybe even competing over them i think that stuff can be fun I remember a couple of years ago that used to be a lot more common, but I've not really been seeing so many people these last uh, this last year or so. Could also be just because I'm not I'm doing this activity quite a bit less, but to me it feels like it's a lot less popular this activity actually. I think it just has a lot to do with the time investment and the ISK investment required to do this. Okay, scan here. Oh, strange, I thought it scanned straight away when you warp out. Okay, we'll see here. Get the Five degree angle. My Cora one. There we go. We got one over there. Let's go. Golem coming in. Okay, here we are. Uh, they seem to be sleeping. I think. 
Which is another sign that they're like one of these initial fleets that don't really want to do much. Okay, never mind, they're not really sleeping. <laughs> no, they're not at all sleeping here. Starting to engage straight away. Let's go for the Rage Torpedo, because that could be an idea, since they are good against the Leshax and Dracolax. Here's a Harrowing. Can be good Nosferatu source. And locked it, unfortunately. Do not need to continuously boost the shields, actually. Unnecessary. Okay, now I've got this Dracolax back here. And then put the Nosferatu on him. But the second one here, we can also use a target painter just to improve application just a little bit more. But the Rasen balls fall really fast. They're very easy to take care of compared to the non Rasen ball ones. And we can even start locking up some of these wrecks here to be as efficient as possible. Let me put the Drek back here just so we don't confuse it. Great, now for this one. I wish that the wrecks could, you could like somehow organize that all wrecks end up down here, and then all non wrecks end up over here. It would be quite cool if it was possible. Evil online uh, UI can't be too intelligent. <laughs> you could use some AI, that would be quite cool. AI HUD organizer. So the Rage Torpedoes, they're not actually that great against the Red Max here, but they could be, uh, they're still okay. They're just a little bit worse than the Kaldari Navies, but they're still alright. It's mainly when you're up against the frigates and destroyers, you'll notice a big difference between the Kaldari Navy and the Rage Torpedoes. But even then, you can still destroy the frigates and destroyers with the Rage, just not as good. Not for this. Rick here. And this is the great thing about this one salvager here, even though it looks maybe like very uh, pity here, just this one salvager I've got. It's really great because you can see here I'm pretty consistently clearing the wrecks with this just one salvager. Just have to keep an eye on it so you don't get too distracted with it compared to everything else. Otherwise, you can actually save a ton of clear up time with these. Okay, they don't seem like they want to spawn in. Strange because they have been trigger alarm for quite a while in the system, so I would have expected a little bit more of these. Maybe the wormhole is despawned or something. Because that siege or wormhole fleet was not there anymore. Last time I checked. So I don't know if there's like a lifetime or life cycle for those. Yeah, there was not so much here. Recall those Warrior 2s. Okay, we've got a lot more here. We've got even some Hospitars. So that's a sign of bigger Triglavins. I mean, or not necessarily bigger Triglavins, but what I mean is like, they are, the Hospitars are a bit more uh, threatening than the standard was, since they are pretty high HP and I believe they do quite a bit of damage. But they also can drop pretty good loot as well. So there's also benefits. Good, we get some true lava survey data, always good to see. I commute to the city, and I'm going to go to the inner city uh, on a bike. Takes about, say, a little bit less than half an hour on an electric bike. Requires a lot le less effort with an electric bike I've built. Um, I used to do it always on a manual bike, but now I do it on an electric bike. And now was a, today was a day which uh, has been a very long time since I've actually done the commute on a regular bike again. It's, it was pretty difficult, but it was easier than I thought. And I feel very fresh after doing it. Having to just do it day, day in, day out can get very tiring. But once in a while, I think it actually can feel very nice to have done a bit more exercise. <laughs> so I feel very fresh now. It's a nice feeling playing Evil Line after that. Grab that cargo hold or mobile tractor unit. What have we got here? Invasion loot, 15 million, not that much, but it's something, it's something. We'll do this last spawn and then we'll call it a hair day. Okay, and let's get the angle here. Hmm, could be at the sun, I think. 
reload. What have we got here? We have got uh, battleships. Okay, we should actually stop with the uh, the bastion mode. Don't need that anymore. So double check. Is it the sun? There we go. Okay, yeah, there's some of the sun. But I want to see those hospodars. Those are a bit more interesting, in my opinion. Here we're now seeing hospodars. So we'll go to the planet here because they seem to be hospodars. I want to take on those. They can give these holographic transcribers. I don't think they're worth a lot anymore. They used to be worth quite a bit. Triglav and Troll. Yeah, look how little these are worth. These used to be worth 50 million discs or something like that. Now they're barely worth anything, actually. Strange why that happened. I don't know why it happened. If any of you guys know why the trigger of any holographic transcribers plummeted in value, let me know. I think it could have something to do with that they may just have dropped in large quantities in Pochven, is my theory. Okay, it seems like there's many small stuff here, so we want to get the Kaldari Navy going on. Go for these hospitals here. Ghosting. Oh, that's not a nice combination. Hospital, ghosting, and Damovic. He's not moving too fast, so we can maybe get the jump on him. One of them is aggressing, but not a lot of them. Seem to be just relaxing here. I think one of them is just sleeping. This system really has been untouched, and this is what I mean is that if this was a couple of years ago, I don't think I would see this kind of quiet system for this long. Could also just be a coincidence, but it's a Friday today when I'm recording this video, and uh, I think maybe a lot of people would come home from work and do this kind of trick lava hunting. But I mean, this is just completely dead. I think Eve Online is not really looking like there's a lot of people playing it right now. Let's just check. Twenty-five thousand players. Okay, that is. I don't think that's too bad. I think that's pretty stable, actually. We can look at the graph here. Tranquility. And then you can look at a long period of time. Like this. <laughs> and just these true larvins are sleeping, so they don't even have to pay attention. We can just look at the websites while fighting them. Oof, one shot them because they're moving so slowly. You can see here, I mean, it is going a little bit down, but it's been pretty stable, I would say, here. It was 2020 where we had quite a few players, over 30k, but now it's under 30k. It's not a big difference between 2021, 2022, and now. Overall, 2022 seems quite low, actually. Okay, I also want to get these wrecks. And a good idea to put that MTU down, actually. Mobile tractor unit, very good to deploy early not late now a lot of time has been wasted where all these wrecks could have been uh, reeled in but not there we go all destroyed doesn't seem like really much is going on here not that isolated Rasnaborg fleet here but these uh, hospitals seem to have been taken care of let's see if we get anything decent from them I don't think it's really much big rare loot you can get nowadays the only thing I remember you can get really great from the hospitals are the Really high amounts of, uh, although not high amounts, but the true love and holographic transcribers, and they don't seem to be as worth it anymore. Uh, I think you might be able to get more true love and survey data, but not hundred percent, not hundred percent are sure about that actually. A lot of the stuff I say here is more like anecdotal stuff, and it could be wrong, so just keep that in mind when I say like, oh yeah, you could get more survey data. Not guaranteed, just my feeling I've got from running these sites and I might have heard it somewhere I don't know, citation needed as they say on Wikipedia <laughs> good, great, those, look at those salvage drones, I love them man they, they go, they're so good, they just go there and just wreck everything, like there are a bunch of wrecks on the overview, wrecking the wrecks you know, <laughs> and then they just all disappear, amazing great reload as well, put the bastion module off and we can get those salvage drones moving. And we recall these salvage drones. 
Okay, 11 million. That's pretty good, considering how small that wave was, I would say. Uh, we can check the total loot here. 34 million, and that's also including the previous one, so it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we've also got that extra carbon container coming in as well. Could carry something good, we'll see. Some nice goodies. See what's in here. Oh, one million. So something, but not a lot. Uh, do we have enough space for the MTU? No, I don't. Okay, what can we deploy? Is those those high capacity salvage trinary state processor exactly? Jets in this. Uh, we can grab them to you again. Great. So that was some Triglavi hunting. Uh, seems like we were just facing initial fleets now. There are a lot of basic fleets in. The system, no big respawning fleets. It could be that the worm is going to end, uh, going to end its life soon. It just could be that it's really low activity here because it seems to be a really dead end system here. Often when we were here, we, or at least from time to time, we could see that no people were in the <laughs> in the system at all. So it definitely was not. It's not a populated system. Unfortunate because I really like to be able to see people around doing stuff, but just the way it is. Just the way it is. In Evil Line, trends go up and down. Things to do. People like to do go up and down uh, just wish i could have a bit more sense of community it's unfortunate but when you're obviously in null second those kind of areas especially wormhole space i've had you can have a lot bigger sense of community but i like the chill aspect of high sec so uh unfortunate but we'll see we we're going to go to null sec anyway soon so let's restock here redock and call it a day so hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you learned something new if you did please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later